my hair. Stop. <laughs> Girl. Girly. Menchie's girl dinner is my hair. Bad kitty. Bad kitty cat. Welcome on in. Um, happy Weeha Wednesday! How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? You feeling like trash? Same. <laughs> Who's trash in the chat? Identify yourselves. It's garbage night. We're taking you out. I'm taking you out. Because it's garbage night. <laughs> Damn it, she's choking me. <laughs> what in the music is this? There we go. Trash, I am a dumpster fire. I am feeling rubbish, so... Hello everyone, do you have your tea? I hope you are feeling healthier, thank you. Call me Oscar, baby. <laughs> I have post-COVID trash feeling, me. Literally same. Trashy. Yeah, it's a, it's a lifestyle, you know? Well, welcome on in to the trash. <laughs> Menti, you need to stop eating my hair or I will have to confiscate you off my shoulders like girly <clears throat> missed you all <laughs> I missed chat even though I I was here on Saturday Wait, was that Saturday what's happening um yes meant she's my nurse so here's the deal I, I wasn't quite in the mood to like start a full ass game, you know, and uh, use my brain. It's like, I don't think I could solve a detective game today. Okay, do you want down? Make up your mind, child. Here, go to your bed. It's, it's that hour. Okay, it's just us now. <coughs> I didn't think I could handle solving crimes or, you know, starting an emotionally taxing game mentally. So I was like, I just need trash. And then I searched on Steam for games that are about garbage. <laughs> and I came across one called Trash Panda, where you literally just throw garbage around. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. So that's what we're gonna do, you know? We're just, I'm gonna chill. I wanna be in a good mood. Uh, to just like throw sh trash around, literally. It may not be four hours. I mean, we'll see if I get carried away. <laughs> but that, that's the mood I'm in, okay? And then maybe next Wednesday, we'll like decide on a game plan for what games to, to play. Can you throw me in? Absolutely, you know? That's what we'll do. I will take requests to throw you in the trash bins. Um, but yeah, if you're asking about me, I am post-COVID. This is my post-COVID era. <laughs> I had COVID once, in case you missed it. Um, yes, I had COVID. I tested positive. I had all the symptoms. I took the hard drugs. I think it helped because I did get significantly better within a week. That's good from what I hear. Um, I have a lingering tiredness and a little tickle in my throat. But like, I'm not symptomatic otherwise. It's been well over 10 days. <clears throat> but like, there's still kind of something there, but I, I feel okay. Uh, however, separately, my eye rashes are back. <laughs> Hi. But that's not just COVID. <laughs> so yeah, my eyes are red and raccoony. Literally, you know, I thought it kind of made sense to play as a raccoon because I look like a raccoon. I'm a, I'm a red trash panda. Is that what they call red raccoons? Are red raccoons real? They're pretty cute, right? Like a ginger raccoon. So cute. <laughs> so welcome to the mods. Welcome to the Mench Gang. Welcome to the trash in the chat. It's good to hang out. 
Zoetic Sky. I have Scorched Earth on over Too Good To Be Blue. Oh, that's a good combo. That's like princess combo. I got a compliment from one of my professors today. Nice. Relating to your teachers is always a good idea. It's very exciting. A red panda? Is that a... A red raccoon. No, they look like ferrets. I have COVID for the second time, but I'm on day four and finally feeling better. That's early. That's really good. <laughs> day four and feeling better better is very good. Oh, I just realized I never got more Kleenex, so I just... <laughs> I'm literally trash. <laughs> I'm gonna teepee this place. <laughs> hey, here you go. Okay, do your part. I'm gonna blow my nose. Make it easy to blow your nose, okay? Just keep a roll of toilet paper around. So much more handy. <laughs> I miss being stupid, you know? Like in a fun way, I don't know. That's like what I miss most about stream. <laughs> I just wanna tell dumb jokes, you know? Okay, uh, who has their tea? This is the most important piece of business agenda. What tea are you drinking? I'm drinking the same thing. I'm the most predictable person ever. I am statistics. Uh, I'm drinking mint. Peppermint tea, peppermint d'amour with chocolate oat milk, like an inch of chocolate oat milk. So it looks like, it looks like chocolate, hot chocolate, but it's um, tea. So yeah, that's my, this is my treat. I have it every night. Mm. Lovely. You know, I want to know what's crazy. While I was sick, I didn't drink tea. Like black tea. I like didn't even feel like black tea with oat milk. It was insane. I know. Instead, I drank honey lemon water, which is not tea. But Ben calls it tea. Um, just like hot water, uh, a bunch of manuka honey. Manuka? I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's from New Zealand. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, lemon, like just squeeze a lemon and add it. So it's like hot water with a lot of honey and lemon. That's what I drank a lot of while I was sick because I just didn't feel like oat milk. It was weird. It was like the weirdest time of my life, I know. But don't worry, we're back. We're back, baby. I I'm drinking tea again, as I should. Thank you, Alyssa. You inspired me to take criminology this semester. That's so fun. Can I admit, can I come to your class actually? I'm bored. I kinda wanna go back to school. <laughs> I kinda miss class. I'm out of mint, so I've been drinking chai. <laughs> That's funny. It's online. Asynchronous, lol, for University of Colorado Boulder. Cool. I don't know if I could do online classes. I know a lot of people were forced to do them. I did do online classes actually when I was a student before online classes were popular, uh, but I didn't like them. Like I did them because I was trying to cram in extra classes over the summer and it was the only way I could do it because I would move back to Toronto area. So I would do them, but I, I prefer to actually physically go to class. I don't know, I just like the experience. I'm very exper experiential learner. <clears throat> Mac, obligatory begging for clues, pretty please. Will the new collection be released first week of February? And will it include the mail polish? <laughs> I don't even know if you know what the mayo polish is. Okay, there is no mayo in February. We save mayo for another month, how about that? But yes, there will be a launch very soon. Like this is not a secret, right? This is not a secret. Um, I've been swatching, I finished all of my swatches. And uh, now I have to process the footage. No, do you care about this? You don't care about this, right? You don't care about how much footage I gotta process, how many pictures I took, you know? It's kind of boring. 
boring processing you gotta insert the sd card you gotta download you gotta go through with them all you gotta flag which ones look better and then you gotta decide oh shit i gotta merge these two pictures because this one has a better shot of the bottle but in this one my nails are more in focus you know you gotta do all that shit and you pray to god that you don't have to reshoot anything because you already changed your nails to the next color you know praise me I didn't have to do any reshoots. I also shot the Skittle Manny holding the box. Oops, there's a box. And uh, so yeah, I am done all my uh, filming slash photographing, but I have to finish producing and exporting. And then Ben also, I want to shoot Ben's nails for this collection. It's been a long time. I know I apologize. People really liked seeing his short nail, short nail king, but like it's, it's hard <laughs> to like get him to do swatches because it does take both of our time and you know, we got to schedules line up. So um, my goal is to get shots of his nails for this collection. If not all of them, maybe some of them. So I'm hoping to do that later this week or weekend, but we will see. He's he's a busy boy with all that hummus, you know. Did you get a second Trim Trim hoodie? No, this is Ben's. I um, was doing laundry the other day and I found this. And I'm like, oh my God, uh, this gem. <laughs> so I, it's mine now. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Basically trying to get back to into the swing of things, having been sick for what feels like a month, which is just so annoying. Like literally so annoying. <laughs> I know everyone says relax, but um, I was, I just feel highly irritated and annoyed during my sickness. Like that's what was actually making me sicker probably was being very annoyed <laughs> being sick. Anyways, oh, I just realized I haven't changed this set. This is literally still the after party. Guys, it's January 24th. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> and my set is still like in November because I just have not had that mental energy <laughs> or anything to like update my life. I need a life update. Where do I plug in? I will swatch in exchange for a cheeseburger. Do I look like I can make you a cheeseburger? <laughs> you can get yourself a cheeseburger. What kind of negotiation is this? The Sazor? Sazor? Oh my god, I'm so happy, Christine, to send you a super chat. Thank you. This is not a super chat. This is a member chat. <laughs> but thank you. I never knew what to say. But there is no such thing as a red raccoon. It's a red panda. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know sometimes we use those words interchangeably. Just got my HT B Day reward and got Fairy Tale. You did? Fairy Tale was a birthday reward? <laughs> Congrats! Can we talk about the hoodie? Troom Troom? It's my favorite band. Calendar says 2024. I say it's still 2020 because that's what it feels like, right? We're all like in regression here. Okay, maybe it was an option before. I can't remember. You guys literally remember more than I can. I'm good. I'm gonna use COVID as my excuse for like the next month. If I forget something, I'll just be like, oh, it's just COVID brain. I keep writing 2023 on my schoolwork. <laughs> I've been doing that in all my meeting minutes. I'm like, January 23, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the joke, right? Every person in school, teacher, admin, or someone who like regularly writes the dates on things <laughs> will continue to write the wrong year for at least a month. Mm -hmm. Simply pathological update, oh, we have COVID. <laughs> I mean, like, is this true? <laughs> it's true. The podcast is a little trickier because it requires both Ben and I's schedules to align, A, so there's that. And it requires prep and advanced stuff 
uh, sometimes screening if it's like relating to questions or whatever. And it requires production, which we do ourselves. Like we produce everything ourselves, whereas streams, you just do them. And then it's, if I am opting to get something edited, then I work with editors to help for that. So there's just like more involved um, and it makes it harder for that, those reasons and two people. And we have to prioritize when we're not feeling well or sick. And I prioritized streaming last Saturday um, and the Saturday before because it was an important Holo Taco day to stream. And then, you know, I really wanted to do last Saturdays and I want to do this Saturdays. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, adult prioritization. You know, you kind of have to pick what, what you're capable of doing in the time ahead and in front of you. And it's tough to not be able to do everything. Trust me, I'm the person who's like very annoyed that I can't do everything. I know. <laughs> but don't don't worry, you know, one person, or it's not just one person, but a, a proportion of people on the internet telling me, where's this, where's that? It doesn't bother me in a negative way. I, I've been here for a while, guys, you know? Like, I know that that person is just in their own lane, not recognizing everything that I'm doing and whatever, it's fine. I don't get triggered by uh, someone saying, why didn't you do this? And then I feel guilt immediately. No, I, I know not to. <laughs> but just for myself, regardless of, you know, someone's innocent, harmless request, <clears throat> just personally, I, I generally like to be able to do the things that I set out to do just for myself, even if it's not about the hypothetical letting people down. It's just my own project management brain. I just love projects. Um, it's part of why I've always had like five jobs. <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating. Like ever since I was a teenager, I had at least two jobs, you know, in some capacity because I liked it because I'm a freak. <laughs> um, but that's just, I like being way too busy. But then when you actually get way too busy for too long, you have to start prioritizing because it's impossible to do it all. So you have to start deciding what you attribute more value to that you should do over other things. And some things are gonna slip or just not get done. And yeah, accepting that is part of the battle, but you know, everyone can do it, including you. If you're looking for life advice, you know, you're never gonna be able to always do all the things you wanna do, you know? You have to prioritize what is most important for whether it's your livelihood, your family, your mental health, your well-being, or the things that just have to get done because if they didn't, there would be dire consequences, right? Evaluating the outcome of not doing something is also a way of deciding how you should prioritize. You know, in the government, they like teach you methods on how to prioritize. There's like urgency. Fuck, I don't even remember it. <laughs> COVID brain. But like there was grids where it's like urgency versus importance and you have to rate one over the other. It, yeah, there's like a whole methodology in the government of how to decide which task should come first. And then there's like strategies you can use, especially if you work in like client services to negotiate timelines or budgets or resource constraints to give yourself more time for the project so it can be done well. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but someone's comment made me think of it. Anyways, I feel like I learned a lot from working in the government for like mundane tasks, if you will, that I actually applied to my real life. I find it interesting how valuable also school did the same thing personally. In my, uh, in grad studies specifically, because actually any studies didn't really matter. Any, any university education of mine had no oversight. Like there was no teacher yelling at me to hand something in. I had to do it myself. And through that, I learned how to budget my time and prioritize and balance A, B, C, D with, you know. And I think that was, like such a good life skill that came out of school that wasn't even about school. Like that's not what 
the main point of school is. My The point of school <laughs> was for me to learn criminology, right? Not to project time management. But it did help me learn so many good life skills in terms of that kind of like figuring out how to approach the next shit you have to do as an adult and the things you have to line up <clears throat> in many ways. Anyways. So yeah. There's other good things you can learn from school. Can you do a master class on time management? I could use the help. I don't like beyond what I just said for the last 10 minutes, I don't know what else I would be able to teach you because I am not a master in it because I have no real technically um, technical knowledge. Like this is an industry of knowledge where there are actual teaching methods about it, right? But I'm just like not familiar with them. I've just kind of done what works for me. So I don't know what I would like I thank you for thinking, but like I don't I don't know what else I would say, you know what I mean? Other than like you give me one problem and I'll try and tell you how to prioritize it. Like am I the asshole but solve my time management problems. <laughs> Wait, is that a good idea? Ben, is that a podcast idea? Ben would hate this. He literally hates the idea of time time management or like teaching it. <laughs> but I, I like it. It's kind of like a puzzle. Time management is a puzzle of your life. And you just have to like pull all the pieces apart and be like, if I put this here and then this here, then this here, then I'll have a this percentage better outcome. So let's do it this way, you know? Do it. It would only be me excited though. I feel like Ben would do it. <laughs> Sorry, man. He just wants a burger. Yeah, true. Time management and jump king are the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Burger for Ben. If he gives a clue about next launch. So are you going to like get a refund if he doesn't? You have to ask Susan for that. <laughs> Is Ben in the chat? I thought he was because I saw Ben stops, but. That explains why I don't, I, ha I have no time management. I don't like puzzles. I think it really is just like a puzzle, right? Am I over? I'm definitely oversimplifying. But it's a. Uh, it feels like a burden to figure it out, like a puzzle. And you you'd have to think through all the consequences of doing it different ways, which is like a puzzle, right? So yeah, it's kind of like putting off doing a puzzle because it requires critical thinking and spending time on it. So most people want to delay that so yeah i get it life is a puzzle an annoying puzzle so just be trash <laughs> sometimes you just want to be trash that's what we're doing today i miss bentendo who is this person that's totally ben what is going on? Wait, look, now I can do this. Did you see this? Now, now I can see you. Channel activity, finally, I can analyze you. You're new. Joined 12 years ago, damn. Isn't that fun? Who else can I expose? <laughs> it's Ben's sock account. <laughs> Do me next. Okay, let's see. Oops, I missed you. Ah. Here. Joined 16 years ago? <laughs> wow, it's so wild seeing these high numbers. I mean, like, I'm mine would say that too, probably. Look, deleted messages zero, timeout zero. I'm not gonna have many, you know, timeouts or hides, but Ben's is gonna have like 87 because he just randomly times people out. Look, it says where are you chatted in the last year open on which stream look look at look at all this chatting i'm gonna see your whole history look at this emote use <laughs> wow <laughs> okay this is kind of fun thank you susan susan did everything except for five options of a pool right yeah only four options yeah so now you better uh hey chatters be careful yeah 
because I will look at everything you've said. Oh, you can't even delete what you've said in the past because it's chat related. So you can't go into your chat history. That's not how it works. I can't though. <laughs> That's not commenting on videos. It's commenting in chats. Yeah, so chat behave. Why'd you tell them? Cause I'm gonna pull it up probably. So it'll be obvious. You'll, you'll see it when I just do what I just did. If I want to be like, who are you? <laughs> it's like Twitch now, kind of. Will employers see this? I mean, if they stalk you and know your name is Bronte, but uh, you know, unless you're using your government name, which I think some of you are. <laughs> don't, don't use your gov government name on uh, social media, you know? Just uh, pick a new name, like Simply Neological or something stupid, you know? Then no one will know who you are. <laughs> okay, well, t don't pick Simply Neological, but you know what I mean? Like Taco Cat, like that's not their government name. <laughs> Sarah Martin, we're getting, that sounds like a government name. <laughs> what, this is the long, this, this is all three of your names? <laughs> Yeah, I made a mistake too. Actually, I think it was my school that fucked up. Because my middle name, like Christine Raquel Rotenberg, is also on the internet. <laughs> I should have just never put my last name on, on the internet, but then I realized it's impossible because my school like already publishes that, so it'd be really easy to figure it out. What's this? Real Kleenex? Oh, wow, am I, I am so worthy of not trash. But I, I have blow tissue Blow your nose with toilet paper? Toilet, why? What are we, animals? There's no more Kleenex in Canada. This is, you know, this is eight times the price. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's royal. <laughs> it's not clean. Only for the queen, your majesty. <laughs> queen of I, I paid $18 queen for this Kleenex puppies. in Canada. Did you hear? They took away our Kleenex. She was in here, but. Can I have the toilet paper back? <laughs> Go put it back in the back. Gotta wipe my butt. <laughs> yeah, they canceled Kleenex in Canada. I'm not joking. Look it up. <laughs> it's crazy. Just like they took away Target and Nordstrom's. And what else did they, they take away? Krispy Kreme? You know, we thought. They, they took away our, our laughter. Our civil rights. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Yeah, a rare Kleenex. It's not a Kleenex, it's a fake. You would never know. So this is what you okay, do. Okay, no, Can I, show I need you? to blow my nose. Yeah, here's how that goes. No, no, <laughs> get away. <laughs> Let me blow your nose. Can I blow your nose? Get out of here. I wanna blow your Go nose. Go downstairs, you rat. It'll make me feel useful. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I need a garbage, actually, if you want to bring me a garbage bag. Only if you let me blow your nose. No. <laughs> Help me, we've been stuck inside for weeks. <laughs> I mean, I'm always stuck inside, but. Why did Kleenex kick a moose? No, Kleenex is a brand, right? Just like Windex is a brand. And they literally. <laughs> ben, stop laughing at me. I'm teaching a lesson. And Kleenex decided it wasn't worth their investment, I guess, to keep selling or producing in Canada. They're like, we don't sell enough of our brand name item in Kleenex so, in Canada. So fuck them, they, they don't need the Kleenex brand. <laughs> so there just is no more Kleenex branded products in Canada, like at all. I, have seen people speculate it's also because of like the extra additional cost of language laws <laughs> but like i don't know if that's just people who like are looking for that to hate on i don't really know but i did see some articles suggest that like that's an added level of complexity in the kleenex market in canada not even just kleenex market any market in canada you do have to have both official languages, English and French, printed and like have more provisions available because of that, which makes it, I guess, annoying for packaging. And then they have to make a different product for Canada than for America because of that. And maybe they're like, this is annoying. Just sell in America. <laughs> but I don't know, it could be other, other reasons. 
just Kleenex conspiracies here with Simply. We have puffs in Canada. Should I try puffs? Uh, like the, I mean the Kleenex, not the drugs. <laughs> we also have drugs in Canada. In case you didn't know. All right, should we play some Trash Panda? I wanna show you the game first and I feel like you're gonna laugh at the trailer. Time to try all the other Kleenex that aren't Kleenex. Yeah, I, I always buy the one with the cat because uh, marketing gets me. When my Canadian bestie visited me in the US, we definitely went to Target. It was amazing. Hope all is well. Right? I went to two, two Targets when I was in Florida, but it wasn't that amazing because all the t-shirts were gone. <laughs> and I wanted the t-shirts. <laughs> they were just all gone. So I was like, excuse me. <clears throat> Also, sorry, I'm, I'm getting derailed, but have you seen the stuff about Stanley Cups in Targets? I'm just sitting there watching this content with my better Tumblr and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How many did you say you have? I mean, I can't really speak. I have 40 of these, but most of them were sent to me. <laughs> okay, most people in the chat seem to know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but in case you're like, wait, what? Stanley cups are a, a uh, water container to hold water and drink out of. Basically this, but there's there's a handle and it's a bit bigger. <clears throat> uh, suburban moms on TikTok have apparently popularized them and Stanley the brand is making them in a bunch of different limited edition colors and they did a collab with Target on a limited edition Valentine's Day one I believe where it was like pink or something. And you can only get them at Target. And then there was all of these TikToks of people lining up at Targets, like live streaming them, fighting over cups, yelling at employees, employees having to put up signs like limit two per customer, you insane fucks. <laughs> like, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> and like fights. And then of course they hit the resale market and you see them on third party resellers for some people have reported like $300. And I believe they retail more for like 45 or something like that. <clears throat> I live in Utah. It's so scary trying to go into Target. It's wild. Now I also saw an interesting video, um, like analysis. What was her name? She was so good. I've been watching a few like video essayists on different trends or cultural stuff that I just find kind of interesting. Um, but like people who analyze them, like YouTubers who talk about TikTok trends. I can't remember her name. I wish I could because I would recommend you to her. Um, but the video essayist I was watching was analyzing the this like Stanley stuff basically and how you know, she was using some sociological lenses on this and like putting layers of like looking for community and forming community and in the absence of third places like parks or public spaces where you would, you know, 10 years ago just hang out and meet people and now that's like not happening anymore. People participate in online communities, which, hello, yes, this is an online community, but 
when you pair that with the added layer of like consumerism that perpetuates social media that we're all getting increasingly exposed to purely by our nature of part of being on social media more then you kind of get this like intersection of oh i'm in a community that's why this is important and fun to me to collect cups or whatever but also it brings out that um capitalism brain in people but unintentional capitalism brain where people are trying to one-up each other and like get this so that i can sell it so i can reap the benefit or it empowers me because i'm gonna grab all these cups and resell them for three times the price and now i'm starting my own business and now i'm a TikTok live streamer who's a personal shopper and i have people claim things in the chat which is another thing i did not know what was going on but Someone else I was watching was talking about how that has completely ruined in in their eyes, like Target or not Targets, but like TJ Maxx's and Marshalls. And remember what I was talking about when I went to Florida and I kind of felt like Marshalls and TJ Maxx 10 years ago versus now. I was like, where's all the stuff that I would generally buy? <laughs> I like, don't see any brands that I would buy. It's because these personal shoppers are picking them up. And then doing this TikTok thing where people claim and then they make money because they just charge people for like finders fees and store fees. And I'm like, wait, people do that? <laughs> Anyways, I've learned so much <laughs> during COVID. I watched so many videos, guys. Okay, I saw people, M Mina Lee, yes, she's, she's amazing. I've watched a lot of her videos. There was someone else as well. Um, I think her name starts with an S. Was it Kiki? Yes. Kiki channel? Blonde girl. Kiki. Her as well. Um, and then there's... Tiffany Ferg is not who I was referring to, but yeah, she's she's amazing. And then there's another one. Starts with an S. She has dark hair. I just can't remember her name. That's kind of what I've been doing with my time. It's like learning about things. You know, I want to learn about... <laughs> Is the, I'm realizing things. <laughs> <No>. <clears throat> because I'm not actively on TikTok in the same sense where I'm organically learning that like people are doing home shopping things in TJ Maxx now, I need to watch video essayists talk about it because I'm not going to learn it firsthand. So that's what I'm, I've been doing. Salem, Salem Tovar, yes. That's who I was watching as well. So Nina Lee, Salem Tovar, Kiki, is it Kiki channel or just Kiki? I can't remember. Those three, I've seen a lot um, from them lately. I have to travel two hours to even get to a Target or Walmart unless I want to go across the border to Fort France, Ontario, but I can't do that. That's what one of their... Uh, thoughts was was like okay well maybe it's people in more rural areas who don't have a marshals and like while that might be true it's also probably people who are just like seeing what's available and because they're there in the chat it gives you like a rush of adrenaline to say yes i want to claim this and then call venmo you and then the strategies that the personal shoppers use are arguably like can be sometimes a little bit manip uh, manipulative where they'll be like oh there's only two of these these are gonna go fast i'm gonna price it at this and like no one's claimed it yet and then like do things to just get someone in the chat to be like i claim it i claim it or like yeah i'll send you the money it, and it's just it's it, it's interesting is what i'm saying it's like something i didn't know i'm like that is a thing <laughs> because this isn't just for life's necessities let me be clear i'm not talking about like yeah, I need someone to help me go get food because I'm disabled and this is a good service. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about people who go to TJ Maxx and find reindeer bed sheets because they were limited edition and someone claimed that they, they were like, there's only two of these at this store. Okay, we're not talking, I'm not, it's not really the same thing as, you know, having someone uh, assist you with, you know, delivery stuff for your actual life needs. Yeah. Perceived value is such an interesting concept, yeah. And the people facilitating these, like running the live shopping things illegally also, um, who some of them might be employees <laughs> using their discount, marking it up. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, they they know what they're doing now. People do this with Disney Parks merch too. I saw that too. Anyways, that's a rabbit hole I went down. Okay, let's be trash. I'm gonna show you this trailer because this is what we're gonna do. It's garbage night, baby. In Toronto, no humans in sight. Mm. What's a raccoon to do? Make a mess. Make it easy. Be a raccoon. Yeah. Points. Eat yummy trash. 25 points, 100 points. Oh, Toronto. That's where I'm from. Fuck you, raccoon. I'm not gonna make friends. Avoid predators. <gasps> it's a wolf among us. Right? Fun, right? Okay, we're doing that right now. I'm gonna load it up. We can chat, you know. I can continue to tell you about TikTok theories <laughs> if you care. But I just figured it was an easy game to whatever. Okay, my eyes are rashing. Like, what is going on? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Help me? <laughs> I am a piece of trash in Toronto. Which is where I'm from. That's why I was like, oh, this is actually funny. I am from not Toronto, but Richmond Hill, same thing. Ontario, Canada. And uh, I guess the joke is that it's dirty there, right? That's the joke. All right, I think I missed something. Did I missed it? This is my first live stream I've been able to make without getting interrupted. Thank you, Kaylee. And I just want to say I always enjoy watching your videos. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know why you, uh, you're British. I'm British, but it happens. I love. Okay, you guys seem to love the trash, right? It looks fun. It's like Goat Simulator, but raccoons. I got employee of the quarter and a hundred dollar gift card to Hall of Taco. That's amazing, Natasha. That's excellent. Okay, uh, gaming. I don't think there's any spoilers in this, so. <laughs> Say whatever you want. Select a neighborhood. Algonquin Island, the beaches, Cabbage Town, Swansea, or coming soon. <laughs> Uh, okay, Algonquin Island, sure. Did you know maps in this game are based on real world, oh, something, real world maps probably. So is this actually Toronto? Wait, is there supposed to be music? I don't hear anything. Bleh. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's music. Oh, there is. Maybe I'll put it, I'll do like that there. I, it look, uh, my face is blocking it. Hold on, I wanna show you something. Uh, never mind, it won't. But there, the logo was like City of Toronto, which is just so funny. The logo on this is City of Toronto. There's <laughs> probably like 10 of you from Toronto that are laughing at this right now. 
Can we customize a raccoon? I don't think so. It's just, we, this is what we look like, okay? We have a cute little hat. We are cute. We are a blue raccoon. We have five fingers. We have little nails. Okay, we are so cute. Making my way downtown, looking for trash. Oh my god. Give me some trash. The banana. Oh, there's flies. Ew. Oh. Okay, I gotta figure out every control so I can whack things. I can zoom in. Let me go like this. I can stand? Ah! <laughs> Okay, wait. Whoa! I can dive. Whee! Okay, wait. Stand or sit? All right, that's standing and sitting. Uh, this is like diving. And then whacking. Oh, other whack. What if I stand and whack? <laughs> Give me my banana! Give me my banana! Banana, banana! Okay, all right. Uh. All right, where to, chat? <laughs> Can I go to someone's house? Oh. oh, hello. Is anybody home? I'm on Oneida Avenue. Can I go in people's house? I want to creep. Hello? Excuse me, miss? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna go in your eaves troughs. I'm gonna creep into your room. <laughs> Wee! Oh. <laughs> I'm such a smooth criminal. I just want to know if I can go in your house. Probably not, right? It looks like the barriers of the game are like, not gonna let me do that. But if I climb, yeah, this is way too bright. <laughs> Help, I am Jesus, I am God. Praise be raccoons. Yeah, it won't let me break into the window. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a raccoon can. Ready, can I jump? Wah. No, no, Wah. Ah. Hello? Yeah, there's no going inside the house. Okay. Can I go up a tree? Oh my god. Is there music? I don't hear any music. Uh oh. I'm lost. Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck. No! No! I don't know where I am, sir! Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the road. There's faint music. Okay, give me one sec. I, I want to, uh. I'll turn it up a little bit. Seems like there should be music. It says there's music, but. <laughs> you you kind of hear music? A little? Oh my God, am I taking a nap? Oh, I love us. Trash. Oh, I just yawned. Okay, I also just realized there's a map here, which means it, it means nothing to me because I can't read maps, actually. Where's the road? Anyone see a road? Nope, that's a tree. Where is that road? I 
Which way? Am I going the wrong way? Here. There might as well be no map. Toronto! So, how do you get points? You get points by running over garbage. Look at this. No, no, I don't want to go on the tree. There's no points on the tree. So if I just hit it, I get more. But not by picking it up. You do not get points for picking up garbage. You do not want to pick up garbage. What if I like... Oh, wrong one. I want to barrel into it. That was bad, that was bad. Okay, we're going to do that again. I'm going to barrel into better garbage. Next time, I swear. So I think the point of this is to illustrate how raccoons are rampant in Toronto. <laughs> And they just fuck up everything on garbage night. And that's why it's so important to bag your garbage properly. Double tie it, you know. This is a PSA, fam. Do you want this to happen to your street? This is what's coming up at all the... the uh, what do you call those things? The Homeowners Associations meetings, okay? This is, this is the big thing that's going on in Toronto right now. Don't you know? Bah! That was a good one. It's a good throw. Look at what raccoons have done to our community, Barbara. We need someone out there who will go fight them. Deborah, what are you doing tomorrow night? Let's stand guard and tell those raccoons who's boss. Okay? I'll sit in my Porsche and wait. And then I'll yell at them. And they'll listen to me. Where's more trash? Give me trash. I want trash. Okay. Oh, it's a different street. Yes. We totally fucked up that street. Uh, where's all the mansions? I want to go to the mansion district. I want to go to Bridal Path in Toronto. There's a light over there. Does someone have a yacht? Who, which raccoon did this? This wasn't me. Beer, beer. I am the only raccoon on this block. Is this a bridge? <gasps> Is that a fucking wolf? Should I fight him? Let's not feed the trolls. That's not a troll, that's a wolf. But I want to feed him. I have plenty of banana peels. <laughs> Hello? It won't let me go any further. This, literally this line, it, the game won't let me pass. Aw. I wanted to be friends. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I pass this bridge? I just want to go to the other side and see if there's other raccoons. Hello? Sir, I'm just wanting to get my nails done. <laughs> yeah, nothing happens. I don't get eaten. That's too bad. Let's run away. Oh, <gasps> mailbox, fuck it up. Oh, it will not let me fuck up the mailbox? You're kidding. There's so much mail I could rip open. What is this? Why is there a book case outside. What? I don't like it. Nobody wants to read anymore. <laughs> like what? Why? Why is there books? What is happening? What is this game trying to say? Toronto is so smart. There's just books outside. It's a free library. I've never heard of that. What's that? Get him. <laughs> yeah. Give me the boots. Give me the fishies. So do I I get more points by running through it, right? I 
All right, what other cute little things are there? Are these sailboats? <gasps> That's a. Let's not get wet tonight. But I want to be a dirty, stinky raccoon. Oh, it won't let me in the water. Well, that's kind of fun. All right, what else can I do? I want to meet another friend. I don't think you can go in anything though. Like no structures can be entered. There's a street called Nottawa Avenue in Toronto. Is there? I wouldn't be surprised. Main Avenue. <clears throat> Toronto is like the New York of Canada, kind of. I mean, I know people who've lived in both would be like, uh, it's not that cool, but <laughs> whatever. Relative, you know, within Canada, it's probably the most New York. It is this, it's basically New York. Meaning it is the most populated. It's where the most stuff goes down. Um, and therefore the most dirty, the most garbage. Can we give someone rabies? Oh, I, I hope so. That'd be fun. Where's the trash? I don't know. This street is too clean. What the fuck? Oh, there's some trash. Yeah, give me trash. Give me trash. Oh. Oh yeah, water bottle. Oh yeah. Take that. We are a strong rocket. Can I go in this? Well, let me go in. I want to crawl into it. No, see, you can't crawl in. It, it just moves. Fuck you. It's a bunch of takeout boxes, beer bottles, wine bottles, pork chops, fish bones, cereal boxes, and there was some banana peels. He needs a name. Yeah, what's our name? Okay, what's our little trash panda name? Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was, oh yeah. That was a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so dirty. Look at all the flies, nasty. Mmm, get him. <laughs> this is like goat simulator, but raccoons. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> what was that? That was a glitch. <laughs> Bandit, Stacy. Garby, Robin, Banana. -na. Oh yeah. There's a lot of wine bottles in that one. Does it have an apple on its head? No, it's a little beanie, cause it's cold. It's Toronto, okay? Look at our little beanie. Wee! <laughs> Wee! I am nasty. I am a cutie. I like it when we stand like this. Like, that is... <laughs> Thank you, Ward. Is that Ward? Today's my cat Simon and Sabine's birthday. Happy birthday. Hello, Trash Panda Simply. I hope you feel better soon. Missing our regular streams. Yeah. This is this is a regular stream. <laughs> <laughs> Retired fake date came in. That's exciting. Is she sold out yet? I don't think so, right? Just this, one this is me. No, this is you guys looking for retired Hollow Tacos. Give me more. Spritzer, even though I neglected it for four years. Where's the lemon spritzer? Where is he for the payday? <laughs> oh my god.
God, I love full charge so much. Oh, I love full green. Bright greens all of the sudden. Oh. How could everyone else be so wrong? Yet I am so right. What do the points do? They're reward points. They, um, every time I throw trash, I get more rewards points in the Holotaka loyalty program. I'm gonna redeem it for some nail oil cartridges next. Queen, don't forget to grab the shiny trash. Wait, what? What shiny trash? Actually, there was something sparkly, but I just... Did I miss something about Hollow? Let's, let's look again. There is shiny. What is that? Is that a magic mushroom? Oh my god, Toronto. We love drugs. What? What just happened? Did you just see that? Where'd it go? That was a sparkly magic mushroom. Okay, I need another one. Here in Toronto, we just throw out our drugs. <laughs> like, you know, I got enough drugs. I'll just throw the rest of mine in the trash. I'm high enough. Where's more shiny? Okay, now I need to know. We need another psychedelic mushroom. Alright, let's find the neighbors who like their drugs. Y'all got any mushrooms? <gasps> oh! See, look, it's shiny. But walking into it doesn't do anything. I just hid it away. Like, what, what do I do? There's no eating it. There's no button to eat. Maybe you batted it? So I just batted at it and then it just like disappeared. Like, hello? There's nothing to pick up an object, no. So like here, I'll go through my controls and show you. Like if I wanted to pick up this banana, why is just sit down and then there's left and right bat, which isn't really pick up. And then if I, here, just to go through it. B doesn't do anything. And that's just like dive. That's it. There's no pick up. Hi, Sampley. Glad you are starting to feel better. Any update on restock for hand cream? Um, <clears throat> hopefully soon, yeah, I know. I've been asking about that too. It's just one of those things that takes longer. Did I already do this stream? Um, I'm hoping it's in February. If not earlier, but February is the goal. Uh, I feel like I went this way, right? Cause all the trash is clear. So if I keep going around, it will show me to like blue dots if there's more trash, right? Is this how you read a map? Thank you, Rose Currents, for the Menchie Gang membership. Oh yeah, we have to schedule Menchie Gang. I think it'll be this Sunday, right? Because it's the last Sunday of the month already. Because like, what happened? I've been asleep for three weeks. <laughs> Can I go off this cliff? Look at the end here. It looks like Niagara Falls. Yes, raccoons can swim, but this doesn't feel like it. 
Okay. We need our compassy to read the map. Yeah. Uh, north is that way. Oh, I see more trash. You see the blue dot? We missed one. Where are other raccoons? Look, look, drugs, drugs. So how do I, how do I do the drugs? <laughs> I didn't really, I guess I got a few points for that, but. Okay, we missed this street. This must have been when we came in. In the middle of the night, I was walking in Toronto, strolling all the time, looking for some garbage. Thank you, Amanda Joe. For the five gifted memberships. Menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang. We'll see five more of you on Sunday. For ser service. It's menchie gang service. Of Sunday. <clears throat> I used to go downtown a lot when I was a teenager in Toronto. So this is kind of, I mean, not nostalgic because I didn't do this as a child. <laughs> but. <laughs> but growing up in the suburbs of Toronto meant you would go downtown sometimes. You know? And when I was 16, I went to University of Toronto for their like pre-university. Uh, this is a fake class for high school students who want to see what it's like to be in university, but you're not actually taking university classes. Class in pharmaceuticals and biomedical polymers. Because so I thought I wanted to become a pharmacist. So I did that for six months every Saturday, downtown Toronto, at the University of Toronto. Toronto, when I was 16. That's my memory and knowledge of downtown Toronto. So I thought it was dirty. <laughs> But that's because I lived in the suburbs, which were not dirty. And, you know, going downtown on the subway every weekend to go to school, basically, when I was 16. It was so dirty. From my worldview. And that's also how I came to the conclusion that I didn't want to go to a huge downtown university because I just hated the environment and how it was so intertwined with regular life that was, had nothing to do with the kids going to school. And I guess I wanted the more campusy experience because being downtown at 16 as a young little lady, downtown Toronto scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, I don't wanna, no, I don't wanna do this. Um, so yeah. That's why I went to Carleton University in Ottawa, which is not a downtown vibes university. It's like very campusy and clean. And has a nice river and tunnels. The, I had a lot of friends who had the opposite view of me. They were like, no, I wanna be downtown. That's where all the action is. That's where all the good clubs are. That's where all the good sororities or whatever are. And never hear about that but um but i was like i went downtown enough uh, and was not really a fan <gasps> what is this it's a donut poo what is that no it looks like a like a bolt <laughs> a donut poo <laughs> a donut poo wrench bolt thing how do I wear it? It looks like a nice ring. You can't eat eat things, which is annoying. You can only like push it. There. Okay, this way. It looks 
like a bagel. A Toronto bagel. I still haven't met any friends yet. This game promised me that I would meet other people. I mean, not other people, other raccoons. Where are the raccoons? I'm beginning to think that this is all a setup. And this trash is fake. Does no one in this town use trash bins? Or bags? I mean, that's probably part of the joke, right? Is that people are not good at wrapping their trash. And that's why it's so easy for raccoons to do this. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I think this is just a PSA. Put out by the city of Toronto. <laughs> oh, is that a red donut? Oh no, it's the same donut. Okay. It's very glitchy right now. So, I can't really do anything to it. Pouncing on it does nothing. The only thing you can do is whack it. Oops, I said. There, I just whacked it away. Try jumping on the drugs. 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 Where's the drugs? Give me the drugs. Check your settings. You may have turned the eat option off. What? Excuse me? Why would they set that off on me? I would like to auto eat. I didn't change anything. <laughs> Are you telling me this whole time I could have been eating trash? How do I eat it? What is eat? I'm hungry. Eat this banana. Oh my god! I'm so dumb. No, I want to redo the level. No. I could have been eating magic mushrooms this whole time! Ah! Oh, banana. Yeah, banana. Banana. Oh, banana. Okay, okay, hold on. D do we care about what we eat? Like, do I get points? Eat the banana. Nom, 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 nom. Can I eat the fishy? No, it won't let me eat fishies. Can I eat cereal? What can I eat? Can I eat water bottles? Okay, now we can see what will, hello? What will happen on drugs. All right, come on, Torontonians. Show, was that cheese? Hold on, I'm, I'm glitched. Hello? I just ate a piece of gray cheese. I love it here. Okay, okay. Anyone, if you see something shiny, let me know. I will eat it. Okay, we will eat the whole- ah! Why am I on fire? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, what did we do? Hello? Mom! Help me! <laughs> Why am I on fire? Oh my god! Go to the lake! Where's the lake? Oh! Duh. Help! Oh my god! <gasps> what? Did we just 
eat leftover Taco Bell? That's a power up? Being on fire? Oh, I need a nap. Good lord. <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> How many magic mushrooms did we eat? I was trying to go to the water. I was like, oh, will they let me go to the water now? Wow, that was that was exhausting. Okay, let's, uh, d does anyone know why that happened? What did I just do? <laughs> I ha I've, you know, I've been downtown Toronto a lot. I didn't see that. I didn't see raccoons on, on fire, just like shooting different directions. Holy shit, give me a banana. I'm hungry after all of that. Holy shit. Because you ate a power up. What did I eat? What did I eat and how do I eat it again? Look at me eating, I'm so cute. <laughs> Do it again, queen? I would, silly, if I knew how. Is it eating pork chops? Oh my god, look at that full ass meal. You ate a shiny thing? I guess that's why. Here, I'm just gonna knock a couple over, and then we'll do a loop. Ready? There's something shiny there. We're gonna project manage this trash. Okay, first we're gonna do all four trash bins, and then we're gonna investigate each of them, and eat everything in sight. Nom, 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 nom. Give me everything. I can't believe I didn't know you could eat. Why would it take that away from me? Look, there's something shiny there. Okay, so if you- Ah! <laughs> Wait, help! Oh, this is hard! This is hard! I can't control myself! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah! No! Ah! <laughs> okay, this- Me! <laughs> I am Sonic the Hedgehog! So I think it is the shiny things, right? Holy shit. Oh my god, I, I'm so old now. This raccoon has seen things. You know? Oh my god, there's another one. Should we eat it? I'm scared. Okay, this is a donut. Ah! <laughs> so like, am I getting points as I have this power up or it's kind of silly, can I go? No, no, he won't let me go to the water. <laughs> Wee! Wondering if I should switch to another map or if I will get the opportunity to meet another raccoony. Because I would like to meet a friend, you know? I'm working and almost lulled on a customer's call. You should, but then tell them that what they're saying is really funny. You know what I mean? Like, if you're just trying to cover it up, cover up that you're actually laughing at something else. <laughs> 
Maybe it won't work so well depending on what you're, you know, you're talking to them about. Look, something shiny, something shiny. What? I am God. Oh. Oh my God. I have a force field? Is this good for fighting other raccoons? Wow. I am a god tier raccoon. power-ups. Can you fly? It kind of had me levitating. A little Dua Lipa. Now go to the wolf with that power. I don't know if it would last long enough because like it kind of takes a while to get there. And then when you're on your power-up, you um, it's like hard to control yourself. Can you cross the bridge? I don't think so. I think I have to go into a different map. Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Oh, 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 oh. Give me that pork chop, give me that banana. Okay, where are we? This, uh, this auto eating setting is dangerous. Look, that's the city of Toronto. See? The faint bouquet in the background. The CN Tower. I have no interest in going to the top of the CN Tower where you can, like, do that walk around it. No, thank you. Nope. <laughs> I've been to the CN Tower for like grade eight class or something, but. Aw, we're so cute. What's that? Is that the Drake Tower? That is Drake's house actually. You see that really tall thing back there? That's Drake's house, Ooh, donut. And that's where his hundred million dollar mansion with the basketball court is. And where he filmed that TikTok, right? Did he make a TikTok of his house? And everyone thought it was weird. Cause they're like, what are you doing trying to fit in here? You are not normal. What is this? This is actually Drake's house. It's at the end of the block. We're gonna climb in, okay? We're gonna see, uh, his, we're gonna check out his basketball court. Excuse me, Drake. Uh, why did you choose Toronto? Is it because you've committed so hard to Toronto in your music that you feel like you have no choice to live here now? <laughs> Cause most people would have left, you know? <laughs> oh, look at that pollution sky. So pretty. Drake lives in Canada? I don't really know. I mean, I don't stalk him. Um, but he he famously purchased and built a hundred million dollar home compound downtown Toronto in like one of the the richer gated areas or whatever and that was all in like the news <laughs> for some time so I don't know if he lives there all the time, but he did uh, build a very, very elaborate home and grounds area in Toronto. Now, there is a lot of rich homes in Toronto, but they're not like all a hundred million dollar grounds <laughs> rich. 
but the, Toronto has a ton of like mansions and really, really nice areas and also not nice areas. But in case you like have no idea what I'm talking about, there is a lot of really upscale rich mansion areas in Toronto, in the bridal path. And uh, probably not where I'm thinking of because I didn't grow up there, but I just remember people like referring to it and talking about it. And there was this, there's this historical site now that's like a tourist attraction called Casa Loma. And it's a, a castle, I forget the history. I think it used to be owned by like some rich family or whatever. And there's like also a, a horse stable and like tunnels and it's a giant fucking castle. And then they turned it into some kind of tourist thing that you could go to at Christmas and families would take their kids because it was kind of fun to take your kids to a castle just to like look at and pay an admission fee or something. But it kind of sets the tone for that area that has like castle-like mansions in <laughs> downtown Toronto. This one was just a tourist attraction that regular people would pay to and go to, but like there actually are kind of castle-like mansions there that just live at. They filmed horror movies at Castle Loma? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I guess Drake built his own Castle Loma. Casa Draca. Is Drake a landlady? He's a man of the land. Drugs. Oh, it's the magical ones. Oh my god, I'm flying. Ah. <laughs> He's D Dracula. <laughs> That's good. He should come out with an album or a song about Dracula, and it'd be like vampire themed. And then he could dress up as a vampire. Brilliant. all this rummaging and, and no other raccoons. Like, I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Smack. Eat. I need a banana. Yeah, do you want to do a new map? I'm kind of bored of this one. I want to see, like, can we go to the rich neighborhood? <laughs> I'll just talk about Casa Loma. I forget. It's been so long since I've been in downtown Toronto. It's probably like vastly different than how I remember, but. Where are the mansions? Where is the bridal path? Where are the rich families? I would like to see. <clears throat> Alright. Go to Cabbage Town? Okay. We're going to Cabbage Town. Is Drake my father? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is he? <laughs> All right, let's go to Cabbage Town. What is Cabbage Town supposed to represent in Toronto? Oh, wait a second. Look, you see on the right hand side, Algonquin Island says nothing. This one says includes garbage collection and nemesis challenges. Cabbage Town says includes garbage collection. Swansea has both coming soon, coming soon too. <laughs> Should we do the beaches because it has both? I want a nemesis challenge. Okay, let's do it. Let's fight the other raccoon bitches. I'm going to the beach. The Toronto beaches are disgusting, actually. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Maybe it's like comparing to Florida, literally any beach in Ontario is gonna be nasty. You know what I mean? Any giant public beach. 
nasty. Oh my god, can I get run over by a car? I just want to test something. Oh, it won't let me get run over. Okay, just checking. I have to test the boundaries. All right. This game is about safety first. So much safety, I'm gonna run this into the road. Can I jump on this car though? We're on Queen Street East. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck your Prius. <laughs> Whoa! What am I doing? Ah! It's glitching. It doesn't understand being on the roof of a car. Okay. Oh my god, every car is the same. This is exactly like the suburbs. Okay, let's go down this street. Neville Park Boulevard. Ah! You have been challenged? Wait, is this real time? Is this like a 12 year old? Accept. Which of you can score the biggest mess? The challenge ends when all 31 bins on this street are knocked over. <gasps> okay, let's go. We gotta go. Am I fighting a computer? Oh, why is that so bad? Go faster, Christine. Like, am I playing against a computer or is this like a Fortnite child? I don't know. Like, where are they? I'm getting all the bins. They're back there. They're so dumb, right? Like, I can see them on the map. They're just hanging out there. What are they doing? <laughs> what? Am I doing it wrong? Oops, sorry. I got distracted. They're just not moving. Maybe it is, like, a real player. Look, they have a zero score. I'm winning. You can't see my score, it's behind my head, but it says I have 12,000 12, points and they have zero. So, they are probably 10 years old and their mother just called them for dinner. And, uh, I already ate dinner, so. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay to play. I'm gonna win. Okay, it's practice. Practice for the next real nemesis. Which is one of you guys. So you only get points for knocking it over. It doesn't really matter if you eat the garbage. So I'm just prioritizing oh, this. Hello? I like this car. It's blue, just like me. Eight more remain. Let's go. Let's go. I know there's one back there. I missed it. Wow, you dumb nemesis. What happened? Why did he challenge me? It's okay. I like, I prefer winning. Guys, we're doing so good. GG's. <laughs> Should we go say hi to him? And like, be like, hey, bro, what are you doing? I'll leave one bin and ask him, what are you doing? Where is he? What? 
It just canceled the challenge! <laughs> what? No! <laughs> it's just gone. He pulled a Houdini on me. Oh, you know how good I was doing? <laughs> I'm depressed you now. Fuck, okay, let's go challenge someone else. All this trash for nothing. I guess that's what I get for being trash. Okay, all right. Um, let's, let's get challenged again. I never mean to climb these things, <laughs> it just happens. I think I should be eating garbage though. There we go. Give me some pork chops, you know. Did you leave the street? Is that what I did? Fuck, I didn't mean to. I was just looking for my competitor. Oops. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let me eat this. And then I will challenge you, bitch. <laughs> What if I set a car on fire? Help! Help! <clears throat> now, I dare someone to challenge me. Stop climbing the car. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Give me a pork chop. Oh my god. It like auto grabs on when you're near a car. I don't mean to. Get off. Get off. I think I just have to jump off of it. Okay, I need another competitor. Hello, I'm just looking for a little friend. If anyone would like to be my friend. Uh, you know, I'm just a, just a little raccoon looking for a third place in Toronto, but it appears everyone is in their room on Discord. In a text channel chat, not a voice chat. so mad that I accidentally uh, forfeited that game. Like, will I ever find another competitor? Is there literally anyone else playing this game right now? <laughs> what if no one else is playing this game? I'm all alone in Toronto. Hello? Markham, is that you? Let's mark him over there. It won't let us go that far. Oh, it's the beach. Oh my god, we're, what? We're going swimming? Ah, oh, no we're not. This is the nasty public beach. It was a bot, Oh, Why wasn't the bot doing anything then? All by myself I wanna be all by myself I'm simply all by myself 
I wanna have friends who are raccoons and play with trash. It's so sad, you know? Does the trash panda want to come visit me in Hamilton? We have plenty of trash for them to eat. <clears throat> Is Hamilton full of trash? I don't know if I've ever been to Hamilton. I've been to a, a lot of suburbs around Toronto. Um, but not Hamilton. Where is Hamilton? I don't remember. <laughs> There's so many fucking like cities and towns around Toronto that it's like actually hard to remember. It's so stupid. The greater Toronto area is so big, but everyone just says Toronto, even though they're like hours apart. Everyone's home with COVID. Yeah. Do you think this raccoon has COVID? Do you think I have COVID? Have you thought about doing a gaming stream with mods or nail artists again? Yeah, we could do that. It's just like more organizing and then you have to make sure that everyone aligns or agrees and then you can't change your mind. You know what I mean? So it's like planning with more people. Whoa. <gasps> Mushroom. Challenge me, bitch! Okay, I think if I go to a street I haven't been to before, maybe it'll challenge me. like static shock <laughs> okay let's go down queen street <laughs> which is actually a street in toronto we're going down queen street named after the queen because canadians love the monarchy because uh, we're bored we need things to do too Drugs in the road. <laughs> Despite my best judgment, I did pick up drugs in the middle of the road. Can't, can't come for me, cars. Look at me. I'm invincible. <laughs> okay, this looks like a new street over here. Fresh meat, fresh street. Let's see, will I be challenged? Who dare challenge me, bitch? Look at me. I'm the richest raccoon in this neighborhood. Silver Birch Avenue, that sounds like a rich street. Right? Like, you know that, that Ellen Troy lives on this street, on Silver Birch. And her daddy has a, fills up her BMW with gas for her. <laughs> That's a true story. Not the Ellen Troy name, but the, uh, I had rich friends who, well, not really friends, but rich people I knew whose dad would drive their BMW to the gas station to fill it up for them because they just turned 16 and were too scared to go fill up their cars. But they also drove. Do you see a problem with that? <laughs> now, if they were here, they'd probably say, well, in my defense, like, it's not that I couldn't do it. It's just like my dad said he wanted to, you know, so that I didn't have to worry about thinking about does the car need gas? And I'm just there like, um, my dad literally drew made me go to the gas station and said, figure it out, I'll watch and tell you if, if you need help. <laughs> because like, if you're gonna drive a car, you should probably know how to fill it with the fuel required to continue to drive it. 
maybe i don't know <laughs> and it it wasn't because like you know daddy was gonna pay because uh, you know they already had daddy's credit card so that that point is moot or they already had a credit card paid for by the parents so it's not that yeah you know my dad had me learn how to pump gas like as soon as I was nearing, as soon as I was taking my like G1, I guess, which is the first driver's test. I, I passed my driver's test in my my grandmother's 1995 Subaru Legacy. <laughs> and then she gave me her car, her old car. And uh, I thought I was so cool because I had a car. And then I drove to school and I lived in a neighborhood that had like mixed like uh, income situations because it was half French immersion and half not so there was a group of very rich kids at my school as well not all rich it was a public school not I'm not talking about private school but the very rich kids had like BMWs gifted to them when they were 16 and then I got there in my Subaru <laughs> that was like old oh my god but at least I knew how to put gas in it, you know? It's like, okay, well, I can fill up my own tank. <laughs> yeah. I have like weird memories of kids driving around at 16 because it's kind of terrifying. Like if you think about, not everyone who is 16 has the mental capacity to like drive responsibly. Like, let's just be honest. <laughs> not, not every teenager, you know? And there were, I remember two people like in their beamers drove over like someone else's backpacks in the parking lot because they thought it was funny like they, they were just like let's bully this person you know um, you know because that's so funny and they would drive over other kids backpacks with their like new beamers Ugh, kids are so immature <laughs> I always thought it was so stupid. <laughs> like, why? Like, what purpose does this serve, you dummy? Also, you're gonna ruin your car. Also, you're stupid. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't understand. I mean, like, yeah, kids are dumb. It's a popularity contest. They think it's funny. They feel like they're in, in power over someone else. I understand all the social psychology reasons for it. But even though I was a dumb 16 year old, I remember thinking how immature these dumb 16 year olds are. I was like, why? Like, you are literally so dumb. Anyways. I just did other dumb things. Not driving over people's backpacks. With my new BMW. Which I didn't have, but... Even if I wanted to drive over someone's backpack, like, let's just pretend I was mean. <laughs> and wanted to, like... Ha ha ha! I drove over your backpack. Like, let's just pretend. Pretend you're dumb, okay? Would you drive your car over it? Like, wouldn't you think like, oh, what if it hits the undercarriage of my car? Like, that's probably not good, right? You know what I mean? Like, it, it requires two layers of being dumb to actually execute that. But you have to be dumb enough to think this is funny or good and hurting someone. And then you also have to be dumb enough to think you're... There's no consequence to your vehicle. <laughs> Two layers of dumb. <laughs> wow. But I'm just a raccoon. What do I know? Who asked for a new pod logical? Because here it is. Yeah, just me reflecting on on that uh... <laughs> okay I want to go to a different scene just because I want to be challenged challenge me okay we're going to Swansea I feel like if you're handed a BMW at 16, then daddy would just repair it if they broke it anyways. You wanna know something really funny? Okay, so my dad 
repaired those cars. <laughs> Maybe not himself, because he um, he managed the body shops, but he was a, a manager and then later an owner of like a car collision center, an auto body shop. So when I had friends who got into accidents, or not even friends, just like people I knew at school, and they'd like have to call someone, you know, to... <laughs> Like, fuck, I gotta fix my daughter's car. She smacked it into the garbage again. Uh, my dad would get the call. And people would use the fact that, like, oh, my daughter goes to school with your daughter, so can you give us a deal? <laughs> oh, we gotta repair the fender again. It's the second time this year. Or they, scra they scratched the wheel wells again. The rims are scratched. <laughs> yeah. So I also knew about more little little accidents not i'm not talking like serious injuries things i knew about more of them because my dad's shop was fixing them and then i was in the shop sometimes mostly just like in the summer or on holidays so i would see some of the nice cars if it was a nice car that went there and i'd be like oh so this is her car <laughs> it's funny i don't know it's like a different world view of it you know I had the scoop on, yeah, whose rims were fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not getting a deal if you own a BMW. That was the era of everyone paying in cash and not just the era, but like the industry. Car work in general was just like, everyone wanted to pay in cash and that's how you get a deal. You know? I, I will not elaborate on why. <laughs> I imagine just like that has probably changed just because like less people just make cash. So it's not quite the same, but I don't know. People would come in all the time and be like, oh, but if I pay cash, how much can I get it for? <laughs> and I was like 16 working there like, oh, I don't know. Well, let me ask my dad. Oh, just, just give me 400. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take you. I'll take care of her. Yeah. <laughs> Cash to evade taxes? I would never. I would never knowingly do any of that. Okay. That looks like a mansion. Too bad we can't go in it. Okay, I want to be challenged. Probably something to do with taxes and card fees. Yeah. A lot of businesses do get charged like, I don't know, three to 5% every time a customer uses their credit card. But I guess people just like bake that into their costs. But when it wasn't normal to always use a credit card, like I guess, you know, retailers would just charge the customer. I remember having to do that when I worked at the other car shop. Using Amex was always way more expensive in Canada, but because we had a lot of rich clients who had fancy Porsche cars at the tuning shop I worked at, they just had a lot of Amex cards. So we would be like, oh yeah, we can accept Amex, but we have to add this charge because it was just like ridiculous for us to offer it. But they didn't care because they were rich. But I just remember thinking like, Amex costs so much for us to accept. I don't know, maybe it was because it's American in Canada? I have no idea. What do I know? I can't, maybe canceled my Amex for that reason? Hmm. Do you accept diner's club card? What is that? What's Diners Club? Is that an American thing? Amex had a higher percentage fee? Yes, right? That's what it was. Wasn't it like four point something percent that they would charge to the, the retailer 
So like, if you're gonna pay me $100 for this raccoon to smash this garbage, but you wanna pay an Amex, then I have to pay $4 to Amex to accept your $100, which actually means that I'm getting $100 minus $4. So instead, some companies would just pass the charge to you and say, okay, if you pay the extra fee. But now that everyone's paying with credit cards everywhere, it, you know, you off put, you put off customers by saying you charge processing fees. So you just don't say you charge processing fees and then you charge them indirectly. For my, oh yeah, I remember that too. For years, my local convenience store charged an extra 50 cents to use Interact for any transaction below $5. Yeah, I remember. I'm old enough to remember when it said debit card cost an extra 50 cents or something. Yeah. Me. Okay, where are all the other raccoons? Is the map supposed to like, if the street is a certain color, does that mean there's a challenge on it? Like, let's go down this one. What is the goal of the game? This, we are doing it. You are seeing it. The goal of the game is to be trash. Is to be the trash, to eat the trash, to hit the trash, to find the trash. Be one with the trash, okay? in Toronto. Look, there's three for three, way up here, right beside each other. Let's get them. One, two, three, bam, bam, bam. Do you have raccoon friends in the game? Well, I had one, and then I thought I was being challenged in like a duel, and then we lost, or I lost, because I accidentally closed <laughs> but like he didn't do anything the whole time and now I have no more raccoon friends nobody wants to join me oh look there's a power up magic magic I am a magic raccoon <sighs> fuck Okay, who leaves trash in the middle of the road? Irresponsible Toronto citizen. How do I, f how do I find a challenge? Like, I need to find a challenge, but they're not really indicated on the map, right? I figure if I keep going around like a neighborhood, I will find a suitor. I will find another rat. Rats. Riverside Drive. That sounds nice. relaxing right garbage is so relaxing I cleaned a lot after we um had COVID I woke up one morning when I was feeling slightly better and I was like I'm gonna fucking screw up the kitchen <laughs> I woke up like uh, wired <laughs> and by the time Ben woke up in the morning like all the counters were cleaned everything was moved <laughs> I sanitized all the counters. And now we can eat off of them again. Now we gotta take out the trash. You know? Because it's garbage night. It's 
garbage night and I'm feeling fine talking about all the good things and the bad things to put in the bin talking about trash pristine cleaning question mark I know once in a lifetime Riverside Trail beside a Riverside Drive oh that's definitely confusing for Amazon delivery drivers risk your nails I I know I did but I I did it anyways have you played power wash simulator no but that was another one that came up as like I could try that what is this? A bridge? <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, there's steps. <gasps> ah! Whoa. This is like another level? Literally. I'm so graceful. Okay, who's here? Any raccoons? This is a big level. Look, you can still see there's so much garbage that I haven't knocked over. Lincoln. Let me get the sparkles. Yeah. It kind of sounds like that TikTok alien conspiracy theory sound. Have you heard of what's really going on at TJ Maxx? Where are all the good items going and who's buying them up? <laughs> okay, we've been here already. Fuck, this is a cul de sac. Brûlée Crescenta. Where are the challenges? I don't know. I'm kind of confused and sad. I want to be challenged by another raccoon. Brûlée Gardens? Why are all the streets the same? Hello? Is there any other raccoons out there who would like to fight? Like, literally, where are they? Okay. I only got one, and I fucked it up. And I've been around this block, you know? Steam says the nemesis are in cul-de-sacs? Fuck. But I was just in one and there wasn't one. Maybe it's around this one. Here, let's go around this bend. This is kind of like a cul-de-sac. A nemesis can be a human trash collector. What? The article I found said they can be toggled off. No, they're on. Nemesis and garbage trucks are on. Where's the garbage trucks? I don't believe you. Do you only get one challenge per level? If that's true, I already switched levels. Like I just picked another one that says there was uh, challenges in here. I 
I know, I kind of want to get in a fight with a garbage truck. But like, I guess they just don't want to work anymore. You know, where are they? They just don't want to collect garbage anymore. They're sick of my shit. <laughs> they quit. You're gonna find Cody Brown. Yeah, just him. All the sister wives are gone. Okay, I'm running out of garbage. This is the last garbage. How do I know if I win? <laughs> yeah. Are we the challenge? I, yeah, I think it's like therapy. That's the goal, right? You're just supposed to run around and forget about your problems. Instead, just create problems. Because sometimes creating problems temporarily numbs your own. Because you're, you're misdirecting. You know. So that's what we're doing. But I can't miss any trash! I missed one. It is a nice calming night, you know, when no one's outside anymore. Mm, nice little banana. Surely there is a challenger on this road. Hello. <laughs> Bloor Street West. <laughs> Wait, is Bloor Street a street that Drake sang about? I can't remember. Was I here already? No. So confused. There's something so comforting about little raccoon knocking over trash cans. Thank you for shooting. Right? It's kind of fun, but also I wanted to fight someone. I just thought that was interesting. But yeah, um, I did look at reviews of this game and did see that, uh, you know, because it's not as widely known developed as something like a goat simulator there is less to do <laughs> but whatever i think it's it's quite funny because it's niche to toronto <laughs> which is where i'm from <laughs> it's comforting but i also want to fight right like that's all i want i just need a challenger
shiny. I can't even see where I'm going. Too hot. It's not easier, it's actually harder when you're on fire. If anyone looks online, does it say if like the black streets maybe is where- <gasps> Challenger! Yes! Yes! I accept. Go, 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 go. Is he not moving again? What is wrong with? Bruh. Look, he's not moving. Why? Is it just like a bug in this game? They, the computer doesn't know how to play. <laughs> means I'm going to win by default. Go back and check on him. That's what I did last time. And then it says I lost. Okay, here. So I'm going to get the last bin. But like, where is he? I don't even see him, right? Like in here. So I'm going to get the last bin. Where's my buddy? Wait, I'm frozen. I can't move forward. <laughs> what? What? Hello? I just sat down? Okay, get up. I think we glitched out. He's in the air? Oh my god, he is in there, look! <laughs> Wait, what? I can't get up! I can't- the only thing I can control is the perspective. None of the other buttons do anything. Look, he's up there. No, I'm so sad. It's a bug. You can never win these games. Same thing happened last time. Fuck. <laughs> I just wanted to do a raccoon race. Oh, we have to like exit out of it. Oh no, even escape doesn't work. Fuck. What do I do? Escape doesn't work. Ah! <laughs> okay, game over. <laughs> I'm gonna have to control out delete. Which I haven't done in a long time, because I use a Mac. That's all the trash panda we're gonna play. <laughs> RIP to me. 
sorry that I, yeah, well, I just had to, to quit it there. No other choice. Have you played Goat Simulator? Yes, once. That's why I wanted to play this. You won, woohoo! Here's your trophy. Thank you, Silly Munchkins. Sad we couldn't give him little costumes. It'll be fun to see whatever new updates they do. I think the game was only released in November. So that was like two months ago. I think the game is bugged. The other raccoon is supposed to do the challenge with you. Yeah, and both times they just didn't partake. All right, let's just say we won. Congratulations, GG's to all the trash out there. Um, I had fun. <laughs> okay, serious business though. We need to pick a game for Wednesday, next Wednesday. Mm. What should we play? And yes, The Last of Us, I'm gonna play with Ben. Um, I don't know if we're starting it this week, but that's what I'm going to play on Ben's stream with him. All right. I can take you through my list of games that I kind of have. Until Dawn looks too scary. I'm actually too scared. I mean, I would consider playing it during Halloween but I am less scared. Minesweeper? As dusk falls? Papers, please, is also on my list. Tetris? What's cat lateral damage? There's another cat like in the city game that I want to play, but it's not out yet. But it's coming out this year. West of Loathing? I already played Night in the Woods. Cat Cafe Manager? Oh my god, my future. Flex that public servant muscle with papers, please. <laughs> I want to play it, but I also feel like people will be, like, offended by it, you know? Because <laughs> that's kind of the nature of the gameplay. So... As mentioned millions of times, please try The Walking Dead. Watch the trailer at least. Okay, yes ma'am. The Walking Dead. I used to love that show and then it got too annoying. Hugh? Yes, I have Hue on my list. That's the game that looks like different colors. It might be a little hard for me. That's my only like concern about playing it with you is that it might be hard for me and then you will be frustrated at me. Papers, Please is so hard. Is it? Because it's timed? Fuck. Let's watch. Let's do a little review of some games. Okay, this is Hugh.
kind of hard because it's like skill based. It's, ben would probably be really good at it. But it's interesting. Okay, let's watch The Walking Dead. Do I want to watch this? It's just like nasty looking zombies. Where is the trailer though? None of this is a trailer. Hello? Why don't they have a trailer? Oh, damn. The Walking Dead game trailer. Because isn't there like 8 million of them now? The Walking Dead Destinies? Which one? Not that one. The Walking Dead Episode 1 launch trailer. Is that what I want? Or this? Eight. Iden? Okay, may maybe this. Rated M for mature. That's me. Immature. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Well, I reckon. <laughs> you know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. In the room! This other time... <laughs> through this yeah I want my parents to come home now I think that might be a little while staying put for too long is a mistake those things are all over the damn place personally I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to but I know who you are and I know you're a killer the world is ending out there who cares who I am <laughs> This through. Ah! He's bitten. We gotta throw him out. I'm gonna kill him, cat. You wanna get violent, old fuck? Well, come on. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar fast. I'm sorry, man. Oh, sorry, I wasn't here. This music is so like strange. It doesn't. It does. That was so weird. That was like a Wild West zombie. <laughs> like, I was like, wait, what music? I was like, wait, what? What? What is the tone of this show? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice and cozy. Okay. I'm not fully convinced. Not gonna lie. All right, let's look at Cat Cafe Manager. Live, what? Watch the developer play? Hello? Sorry, I don't wanna embarrass you, but like. Okay. Manage your Cat Cafe. Take or oh, it's Diner Dash. What cats? <laughs> Make a tea latte. Hey. <laughs> Santa. Is that Santa? Hi. Well, this is like complicated. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that There's like a lot of layers to this one. You know? 
This seems like a lot of things to do and that you should dedicate 80 hours of your life to. You know what I mean? That's what I'm not sure if I should do. <laughs> it looks really cute though. But my, like, I know that I would need to decide in advance. I cannot dedicate 80 hours to it, but I could dedicate, like, four to it and just do it once. You know what I mean? And just decide. Thank you, Gwyn. Much gang. Nancy Drew would be great for you. Yes, a lot of people tell me Nancy. Nancy. Someone else said something. Lost, lost words. Lost words. Night in the Woods we already played, unless Beacon Pines Hello, is a Jano. different version. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. We went to see Gran today, in the hospital. I want to write a story. There once was a young girl who thought she would never see outside her home village. But the land of Astoria had other ideas had great and terrible adventures planned for her. All you need is a leap of faith. Despite the darkness, Robin's hope guided her. I need to finish the story so Gran can read it when she feels better. Wheat. Lots of wheat. Some words will stay with you. I don't know if I'm convinced by that. It does it's not grabbing me, you know, there's no dystopian Moral dilemma. <laughs> okay, people. Okay, Beacon Pines is different. Beacon Pines. So this is. Is this by the Night in the Woods people? They look like scary Pokemon reindeer. Wait. No, that's not how this is supposed to end. There has to be another way. We just need to find it. <laughs> Terrifying Pokemon reindeers. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> it's so like anamorphous. You Welcome know? to Beacon Pine. Okay, the music is too much. You should check out Endling. Endling? Extinction is forever? Oh, I love that. <laughs> Who's this guy? Okay, I didn't mean to watch someone's stream. That's a foxy boy. He's a little foxy, Benjamin the foxy. As the last fox, mother on earth, your cubs need all your care to survive in a merciless world that slowly destroys itself. You have to help them, teach them, and save them. And you should never forget that extinction is forever in the real world and in this 2023 BAFTA award winning experience. Endling. Simply please, crying. Please what? Please what? What? What do you please want, please? Is 
It's Bambi. Boo, technology. Boo. Boo. Let's go kill it. No, save our friend. <laughs> we don't trust the humans. I will fucking murder you, murderer. No! I don't like it! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, sir. Okay, give me something else. Uh, West of Loathing. <laughs> what is this, black and white? Clip art? Burger head? Otherworldly peril? Demon cows? Filthy spittoons? In... West of Loathing? What? What am I watching? In glorious black and white. With thousands of gags? And dozens of gallons of hats. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's funny because like me as a millennial, this kind of reminds me of like the art style of um, the first famous like YouTube GIF, not GIF, but uh, like animation, like the end of the world parody. And it's like Alaska can go hang with Hawaii. What's up? You know, like that. That's what this triggers in my 35-year-old brain. <laughs> Which is just, like, so stupid, but so funny still. Yeah, like, E-bombs world, like, era. <laughs> but I am letiled. So have a nap and 10,000 missiles. <laughs> yeah, the number of times that that's gone through my brain. <laughs> Probably not for me, but that's what it's reminding me of. Okay, cat lateral damage, another cat game. Cat all the fun? Knocking things all over the floor without a care? Menchie. Have you tried everything possible to get away with your cat-like behaviors? Such as blaming it on Is the an infomercial? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Or dressing up like a cat? But who are you fooling? You're no cat. But I just want a cat. Now you can cat. What do you think? With cat lateral damage. What? Play as a cat on a rampage, trying to knock everything over before your human returns home. That book on the floor, flower face. That skit they just did was like the skits I did in 2015 on YouTube. They are 2015 YouTuber energy. <laughs> knock it on the floor, dinner plates. Floor, Fabergé, you get the idea. You'll keep coming back for more with procedurally generated <laughs> levels, loads of collectibles, over 20 playable cats, toys to play with, and mice to catch, and secret levels like museums and supermarkets. That's incredible. I'm already playing. Are you playing as a cat in a game? Yeah. This is actually me and Ben. If you didn't know, that's that's Ben and I. <laughs> No, just keep playing. 
Cat lateral damage. <laughs> Won't be able to keep your paws. Okay. I feel like we've watched this trailer before. It did come out in 2015. There you go. Got him. Okay. As dusk falls. This is a game for teenagers. The thing about shadows, you can't escape them. Wheat. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Copyright. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. Where every person you meet, I'll help you take care of yours. Every lie you tell. I just want to know that we can make it through this. Every path you choose has the power to change your story. Yeah, Susan, cover your ears. This section will be muted. What are you doing? Improvising. I'm not just gonna abandon you. You know what's kind of frustrating? Like, I think the gameplay has this... Like, there's a little bit of movement, but then there's images of people and they're not actually moving, right? I'm assuming they would, like, there's a reason they're showing us that. And I wonder if I actually would find that frustrating. Like, this type of, like, diorama, or whatever you call it. Diaporama. Uh, why do I only know the French word? I feel like my, my brain would find that really annoying. That, like, they're not, like, moving. Like, just move your mouth. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> you know? I don't know why I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it's a unique art style. Yeah, but it's like they just wanted to draw the picture instead of do the animation. You know? It has moral dilemmas. What, like, let her watch TV. Tell her no. Every man's moral dilemma. Do I let her watch the television? Or say no, you gotta clean, girl. It's time to clean. <laughs> there is wheat, though. It looks like they took a photo and put an art filter on. Literally me when I was bored and 12 in Photoshop. Like, I had a picture and then I go to the filter gallery and usually click, like, ink or something. Like, yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just was expecting animation and movement in a video game. That's all, you know. Maybe it's just me. I'm... I'm not an expert streamer or anything. I wish we had something else like Death and Taxes. Death and Taxes is the best game ever. Death and Taxes and Detroit Become Human are amazing in their own respective fields. Maybe Alpaca Staka. I like the name. I feel like we've looked at this before. Alpaca Staka. It's kind of like the energy of tonight's game, right? Spookalele games. That's funny. Alpacalypse Studios. <sighs> this is very like animal farmy, right? It's very cute and cozy. But that was tonight, you know? So we're okay to move to, like, moral dilemma. The world is ending. Uh, if we want. Or, like, detective. Oh, that's the wrong list. I had my, like, shade name list open. And I'm like, those don't sound like names of games. <laughs> wrong list, Christine. Okay, stream games. 
So I had Papers, Please, Hugh, the novelist. Why did I write that down? I forget. It's a $5 game. Oh yeah, this looked creepy. But I liked it. Okay, he's struggling to manage it all. They've come here for the summer. But they don't know that there's something else in the house. You. Stay out of sight. Learn about their lives. Read their thoughts. Explore their memories. Discover what they want. Why isn't Daddy put together my pedal car yet? <laughs> Make your choice. Don't put together the car. <laughs> And write their story. Yeah. I think this is like a one stream game. It's a little kind of weird. A little meta. It's not a widely played game. Right? It doesn't have like a lot of play. Votes. Not votes. But it reviews. But I thought it was kind of weird. Perfect Apocalypse Patches Inferno came up when I... Okay, I'm going to have to write that the fuck down. Okay, this one's kind of cool, but it's a little weird. I'm not so much into this one for now. So let's just check this one. Ah! Loud music. I, feel, I am being assaulted by the music. Lie, manipulate, and kill? Oh, that's fun. Or learn, trust, and apologize? This is like death and taxes? <laughs> what? Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I'm convinced. Sally face? Sally? Sally girl. Is this scary? I don't... This looks like Franbo. Something is wrong with this place. Is this Franbo? Literally looks the same. It's a prosthetic? Oh my god. Uh, demon child. Is she playing Death and Taxes? <laughs> She's playing Stardew. What the fuck? It's literally Demon Child. To me, this feels very Franbo. Is that correct? It's not, I don't think it's by the same people. It doesn't look familiar. But it's like kind of the same, right? Very hikes forever. Oh, Little Misfortune was so good. <laughs> so sad, but so good. <laughs> this is Franbo's distant cousin. Hmm. I, you know, I'll write it down. I'm, I don't feel like playing it next week, but I want it on my list. Things to remember. Because at some point I'll feel in the mood for Franbo, you know what I mean?
type energy. Okay, I definitely missed. Someone else said something. Payne's Creek Killings. Oh, that's what it was. Payne's Creek Killings. $21. Why was she killed? Who do you suspect? Oh my god, that's my font. The vast new. They know me. Where will you begin your search? Here is a key. What mysteries will you solve? Whose story will you uncover? How far will you go for the truth? <laughs> I'm simply illogical, narrating in British. Can you find all the secrets? Someone, last time we watched this trailer, said that this trailer sucked, like it doesn't really do anything, but that it's actually a good game. 91% are positive. Okay. Hi, my name is Hello? Nishiha Tsuchida, and I'm one of the Sorry. developers of the... Uh, Hello? Um, people are also saying Nancy Drew, but I'm nervous to begin a game that has 8 million episodes, chapters, or like editions <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? I'm just like, oh my god, if I start Nancy Drew, I will be playing Nancy Drew for 8 years, you know? So I'm putting it off. Uh, Outer Wilds. Thirty-two dollars. <laughs> Find me. You know, what is the most expensive game? I'll let you answer that. A really good game is called There Is No Game. Once upon a time, there was a very annoying user, and that user was you. Fuck. <clears throat> Hello, user. The program speaking. Oh, this Actually, is like Stanley Parable. There's no game. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, user? I told you there was no game. Uh, don't touch that. Will you stop? Are you crazy? You're breaking all my content! No, 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 no! What is happening? <gasps> where, where are we? So, I've seen this done, trailer user? before. It didn't convince me. Oh, no. To be honest. We probably entered a different video game dimension! Super cold user, this still is under dimension. Is that a missed puzzle? Hero, stop running around in circles and fight. Okay, someone has an answer. The hidden and unknown is two thousand dollars. Why? The hidden and unknown. Where? I don't see a price. Confusion. What? <laughs> I don't see a price. <laughs> what is the most expensive game? Can I sort by price? <laughs> Uh, how do I do it? Can you sort by price? Uh, 
Mm. No, just top sellers. Canada. Huh. Categories most expensive. <laughs> Why do I want to do this? <laughs> Come on, Steam. I, I want to see the most expensive games you have. Okay? So expensive it won't tell me. No, not free to play. Right? Look, there's free to play, but there's... I want expensive to play. <laughs> there is a price sort? Where? Oh, price? No. That's the top selling game. So if I go to... Here, let me just go to, like, a, a category. Action. And, uh... How do you sort by price? Featured action. There's no sort by. What the fuck? It's the most expensive. The leverage game business edition? What? You can learn realistic world class management techniques? <laughs> Wait, what? The leverage game is an updated online business of leverage, the game of business, an authentic business board game developed by Action Coach 20 years ago? Hmm. Interesting. So this is basically an entrepreneurship class for a thousand dollars for just for one small thousand dollar bill. You too could leverage your business. You hear me? Uh huh. See more deals. Sorry, Mac and Linux users. That's amazing. I did not I did not know there was like entrepreneur classes <laughs> as games. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's the trailer? Yeah. Uh the leverage game. Let me uh sorry, we'll go back to this. The leverage game. It's 1300 Canadian. Uh, Fuck, we got to watch trailer. Okay. Career choice, business sheet? Is that Monopoly? People and education. Conversion rates? Learn to invest as an entrepreneur. <laughs> what? Oops, you got scammed. They give you graphs? It's like Monopoly money. Extensive experience in edutainment for executives. The long awaited game for managers around the world. <laughs> what was that just? Remember at the beginning of this stream, I was talking about project management. Little did I know, there was a game for me. For the small fortune of $1,300. <laughs> Auto repair shop? What? Look, business sheet. Oh, they, they teach you math. Oh my God, guys. Oh, it's math. Look, customers times transaction times the money and the, the turnover, margin, profit. <laughs> oh my God. Look, they gave you a calculator. Wow. Uh-huh. This is amazing. Are there any reviews? No reviews. Zero reviews. <laughs> I 
I'm just amazed. Like, I kind of want to play it. I mean, I do not want to spend a thousand dollars, but like, I, I just want to see what it's all about. You know what I mean? Why, they got me. <laughs> okay, well, that's the only game that's a thousand dollars other than this ascent free roaming VR experience. Yeah, that is unhinged. But it's giving me like, intrusive thoughts of like actually considering it but then i'm like don't do that christine that's stupid you know what i mean okay let's go back to serious business this is outer wilds lots of wheat bafta wheat everybody Oh my god, look at that wheat, girl. Very circular wheat. Okay, what? What is the game? Anna Perina. They made Stray. Campfire. Roasting marshmallows. Alien? Copyright. This is a copyright stream. Oh, <gasps> it's space. Oh my God, I should play this. Oh my God. We just finished uh, For All Mankind the fifth season. It wasn't as good as the first two seasons, but... Explore a handcrafted solar system. Is it hard, though? <laughs> Is it? difficult please please say no please say it's easy to play what is happening when this moon disappears does it move to another location a lot of very positive reviews how long of a game is Outer Wilds. I need to know how many weeks it will cover. 16 and a half hours in length or 27 hours to obtain 100%. Okay, let me um, do some calendar math. Let's say it'll take me 20 hours. That's like five streams, maybe like four streams. And if I want it to land around the same week, Actually, then, then I, I could start it next weekend. I mean, Wednesday. Okay. Maybe this will just make the decision for me. Because I, I like that. I like its theme. You know? I think I, I just want to make sure that I understand a little bit more about it. You know? Hmm. Have we found a winner? I've heard people recommend this before, but I feel like I also don't know enough about the game. Like, how hard is it? What is it? You know? Outer Wilds gameplay. Like, give me... Give me something. Oh my god, Jack Septicai. <laughs> give me Jack Septicai in space. Okay, let's just watch it. Enter profile name. I want to be Jackaboy. Okay, let me just... Oh delightful all of this is little spaceships up in the air going around i think we can actually just go to that planet there's something on that this could be us there's lights there's spaceships on it i'm gonna go to space space i love space space so cool oh i thought that was an actually a moon it's a it's a little ship whoa what was that it looks Christmas cool make us high use camera 
Top of the morning to you. Screenshot. I don't know why I got a screenshot. Okay, I'm going up here. You how? Oh, you're throwing rocks. Stop being a dick. I saw smoke coming from Yungbar Crater up north. Okay, so it's a reading game. That's also what I wanted to like look for. So I would be reading, reading you stories. What is the plot or the goal? Yeah, let me figure that out. Outer Wilds game summary, no spoilers. <laughs> How do you ever control for that, you know? <laughs> like, what is it about? Okay, a perfectly spoiler free. A space simulation game that focuses on exploration and learning. Okay, we can project management in space for zero dollars, not a thousand. Players will control an alien astronaut who is uncovering mysteries through puzzles to learn about the Nomai, an ancient race whose culture spans over all eight planets in the solar system. I've been playing video games for nearly 16 years now, so I'm pretty familiar with gaming as a whole. There are first-person shooters, platformers, simulation games. Your curiosity is the driving force behind the unraveling of this story, which makes it feel much more personal and like you are the one in charge of how the game is played. Okay. When you think of a game with a good story, you probably think of something <gasps> like The Last I played of that. Us. The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. It is good. But when you play it, you feel like you're living Joel's story. Which is the point. And then you sympathize Naughty with him. Dog wrote the characters and the plot to I be didn't. played out in a specific way, making it feel like you're being thrown into someone else's life. On the other side of the spectrum, think of a game like Fallout New Vegas. This is a story-based game where you're presented with choices that change your path. You can side with Caesar's Legion, or you can side one. with someone else. You do things that shape your own story, but ultimately the story is still somewhat predetermined and there are only so many ways that you could change the plot. Outer Wilds is different from both of these scenarios. While yes, there's still a story talking about the weird occurrences and what happened to cause things to be the way that they are, it isn't predetermined. You can hop around from one planet to another to piece together different aspects of the situation and discover planet it in any order that you could ever imagine. It's like playing The Last of Us, but starting three-fourths of the way through the story, then going back to figure out how you got to that point, and then jumping forward to use the knowledge you gained to see so time how to hop the ending. It's hard to grasp, but it's another thing that makes this game such a memorable and outstanding one. Both of these things that I just mentioned help to create the backbone and foundation huh. of this game. But there are layers upon layers of depth on top of each of these core mechanics that shape this game into the polished masterpiece that it polished? is. Polished? One of which is the world building. <laughs> what? In a game where you have to explore the world on your own, with a story that you have to piece together on your own time, it's extremely important that the world is worth exploring. If it was boring, had no character, Aliens. and was empty, then there wouldn't be that curiosity that made you want to explore it in the first place. Outer Wilds has an open world that is large enough to make you feel small, but small enough to make it memorable. Each planet has its own characteristics, design, and charm, and every little detail adds up to paint a picture of a solar system worth exploring. Ranging from an ocean planet with endless water spouts and storms to a brittle shell of a planet with a menacing black hole in the middle of it, each region has its own unique characteristics that make it feel completely different from all of the other ones. Spread along the surface and within the depths of each of these planets, you can find various little locations that all give you the details needed to piece together the story and solve the problem that plagues you throughout the game. One place can give you a bit of information that helps you in another place and vice mm. versa. You have to travel between these places in your little clunky spaceship to unfold the mysteries of the galaxy. The world is intertwined in the story, and every location has meaning. Most of your journey will be lonely, just you and your brain solving a giant puzzle. <laughs> just us. But spread throughout are little stems of life, with fellow travelers doing their thing. You have lonely little Esker chilling on his abandoned moon base. Kind of... <sighs> Maybe I'm totally wrong because I haven't played it yet, but like, kind of like Stray, you're just going around finding things, seeing who you run into. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's kind of like this. You're like, oh, here's a little alien friend, you know, for you to hang out with. I think it could be fun.
Okay, so I might just play it because of the theme, the space theme. It feels like space subnautica. I've seen people refer to subnautica, yeah. Um, so may maybe it's kind of like that. Okay, so that was space. Yeah, maybe we just play it then. But I want to just make sure my list has the other things. Okay, so. Just for your information, the rest, of, I'll tell you the rest of my list. So I have, I have Papers, Please on it. I have the Payne's Creek Killings. I have Hugh. I have the Novelist, which is that short, weird, I'm a ghost one. Um, I've written down Until Dawn, but I'm too scared to play it now. And then I have some of the like weird detective angle ones or the like fill out the story, like telling lies or tell me why, like basically British detective stuff. I think Twin Mirror was a, another one along that line. Then there was Gris or Gris, Gris en français. Um, I had written down there is no game and your turn to die, but they're kind of like, uh, depends if I'm in the right mood. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nancy Drew, I've written down, but like, I feel like I'm gonna push her off. She's She feels like intimidating to take on, you know what I mean? The Telltale Walking Dead game is amazing. It's like the wolf among us. Telltale Walking Dead? There's the other problem with The Walking Dead, kind of like how I feel about approaching Nancy Drew, is there's so many. There's so many games and versions of this and that. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm getting back. And yes, while Nancy Drew might technically be standalone games, once you enter a world, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, should I play this 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 version next? You know what I mean? It's still kind of entering the world. Just like when I played Life is Strange, everyone was like, oh, now play Life is Strange Colors, and now play this. Anyways, I think I'm gonna play the space game. Unless you have another space game. Okay, here. I will leave the floor open one last time for, for tonight. Um, if there's another space related game that you like, that you, that you think that I would like, let me know. And I will do a quick check on those just to narrow the scope, you know? Starfield, oh, you're joking, right? That's not really for me. It's $89, ah! but it's a masterpiece. Mostly negative, oh shit, that's really bad. Dead space. To the moon baboon, yeah, we'll just play the moon baboon episode. one of the best games of all time said an alien okay this looks scary though like am i am i gonna like this you know what i mean i, d I don't know survival horror genre probably too scary lethal company like don't recommend halo does that even take place in space i don't even know the company the company is hiring. You'll have your what? Very own ship. Your very own crew. A co-op horror about scavenging at abandoned moons to s sell scrap to the company? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> it's easy? They're talking to me. Wee. 
It's super easy. Is it? It's co-op? Oh. Yeah, I have no friends. <laughs> Lethal Company by yourself is lame. It's it's a game for groups of people. Yeah. I need like six friends. I don't have those. I don't have that many. <laughs> you need too many friends. Co-op doesn't always work with one other person though too. Like you need like a group. Put a controller and Menchie's paws. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Starfield? Probably not, right? Look, why is this so bad? Mostly negative reviews? Then who's that? Damn, use of drugs. Humanity has always hunted for not- Lethal Company would be so funny with just you and Ben. Would it be or would we not be able to effectively play because of you need more people? You know what I mean? It's like Among Us. Like that's not fun if there's two people. It would be funny. But I'm already going to play with Ben for The Last of Us 2. So we can't also play a game on my stream. That's too much, Ben and Christine, uh, during the same week. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Good Lord. Okay. I will I will take this back to, to the team. And uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I will take this back to my people and uh, decide which one, what we're going to do. Um, it's probably just going to be Outer Wilds space exploration game um unless i decide that there is a funny angle of doing something like lethal company if possible but maybe not we will see people keep saying soma okay i'll look up soma so somatic soma cell somaticization Everything around you. Everything that came before you. You are the universe manifesting itself as you. That's a wonderful thing to be. But what a curious thing it is. No. To be ah! at all. There is no I hate it. To be concerned. You are always safe. Continue. Yes. What a curious thing. It's depressing. Oh, I like that, though. <laughs> Looking out from inside your little box. It just looks so freaky. Okay. We're in a safe place. This Nothing. isn't space. This is oceans. Oh. Space oceans? Interesting. Do you feel empathy for this thing? Yeah, it's kind of like creepy, Westworldy, digital Remember, technology. Are you really? Aliany, in the ocean, in the Matrix. There is no need to be concerned. Very positive reviews, though. Might be a little too scary for me, but I like the dystopia. What? It is literally space in the ocean. Like, what? A horror game set below the waves of the ocean. <laughs> Struggle to survive a hostile world. Yeah. You know, life. <laughs> Play this game and struggle harder. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like we did in the city of Toronto tonight. Okay, this might be better for like spooky month where I really want to get fucked up. You know what I mean? So I'm going to add it beside Sally Face. <laughs> I have my categories. <laughs> it looks like an existential crisis. Actually, literally, the color palette is existential crisis, right? It's got that like teal 
ocean jelly with like red chaos in it. <laughs> we could just pair all of our nail polishes with the game, you know? Okay, with that said, um, I will end it here, you little trash pandas. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, as always. Um, I had a good time, even though I never got to challenge a raccoon and win, I won the game. Thank you, GG's everybody, we did it. I will see you on Saturday, and we're gonna finally do the 2024 nail trends in review. Yes, I know, I gotta finish my meta-analysis, but it's gonna be a fun nail-related stream. Yeah, nail. we are doing nails again. <laughs> And then Wednesday, we'll, we'll go to space. How's that? It's good to be back. It's good to see everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and, you know, uh, that you learned something. If, if you need to learn anything about project management, there is a game available for $1,000 on Steam. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, the Leverage Game Business Edition. If you're looking for advice, just so you know that that game is available for $1,000. Uh, wish I could help you, but... Unfortunately, I, I have no advice, but this game does. All right, thank you to the mods. Thank you to the Menchie gang, who I will see on Sunday. And uh, see you later. Bye.